Well, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome along to the Long Golf Grand Slam here in Weybridge. It is a picture-perfect day, boiling hot conditions out here, and it's Adam Fielder and Mikey Pereira in the commentary box for you. This is the first quarter-final match of the day that we're going to see, and it uh, involves Alex Miotto and Marcus Willis, a name that uh, I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with. All. And, Mikey, it's been a great day so far. Yeah, it's been very, very enjoyable, hasn't it, so far. We've uh, enjoyed the sunshine. It's been absolutely baking hot. And uh, we're 15, looking forward 13. to these quarterfinals. This is when it really starts to, to crank up into the, the gear, doesn't it? We're looking forward to this. And Marcus Willis versus Alex Miotto. What a way to get started, this quarterfinal lineup. This is a big serving battle. <laughs> Game, Willis. First game. So Marcus Willis breaks to kickstart this quarter final. Perfect start for him. He's got an incredible record in touch tennis events. He hasn't played for some time now, but of course, a man that has uh, shared centre court at Wimbledon with Roger Federer in his career. But uh, I'm sure that doesn't quite compare to being here in Weybridge, Mikey. Well, I don't think so. It's difficult, really, for Marcus Willis to come up in conversation in that memorable Wimbledon run of 2016, not to be the major topic. But I'm sure he'll be chasing this title here in Weybridge with all the gusto of when he played Roger Federer. Yeah, he's got that big serve, the big lefty serve, which can be uh, a little awkward. You can see just how hot and bothered he is. It really is sweltering out here. We've already had uh, a couple of players on both the men's uh, and the women's competition so far. Actually have to withdraw because they're feeling a little dizzy and just couldn't quite handle the heat. It's a good leave. Yeah, it's been a lovely summer for Marcus Willis. I saw him at the Boodles. I was lucky enough to, to cover that event in the last couple of weeks, and he was sunning himself there. I'm sure a little bit of champagne, but he was going through the hard work as well. Had a couple of tough matches. Game Took Willis. on uh, Albert Ramos Vignolas. I mean, these are high caliber Willis players that they get at the Boodles. And Marcus Willis did cause some problems, as he always does. He's got that serve and volley style, which catches so many players out. And he does that here as well. And he's made a super start. Love 15. Yeah, just to let you know, this is uh, a grand slam, of course. So it is uh, the best of five sets rather than the usual best of three that they play. So uh, expect some extended matches here. Normally they're over pretty quickly. It is uh, first of Love four 30. games in a set. Well, there's an example of one of the, uh, the rules of touch tennis that you may not be familiar with, those that uh, aren't regular watchers of this sport. You do only get one serve, so really does force a lot of pressure on the server. No second serves. There's also no lets. If you uh, clip the top of the net on the way through on the serve, you carry on. It's something that they introduced to the, uh, the next-gen tournament last year. And I think... Uh, a rule that quite a lot of the players are in favour of, actually, as well. Game, Willis. Um, not Willis once again, and I'm sure most of you are. Willis leads three games to love. It's very, First very set. hot here today in Weybridge. It's a uh, heat wave currently in the UK, and those of you overseas might not know, but it is tough, isn't it, playing those best of five sets? We've seen players really have to grind it out today. I think Marcus Willis, if he can get this done quickly, uh, that will hold him in very good lines. stead because you don't want to be spending too yeah. much time out there. It is boiling hot today. I mean, we're moving from one room to another, uh, trying to stay cool here, Adam, but we found it tough. I mean, we're sweating away, but these guys are going through all the motions. 
Yeah, the easy. volunteers had to do uh, another ice run about an hour or so ago, yeah. get some uh, more ice and water and a few beers, I think, as well, were included <laughs> in that shopping list. Always important. No, this is again, it's, it's been a wonderful uh, organisation of this uh, event and the uh, volunteers and everyone working on it have done wonderfully well so far. We've got an evening ahead though. This is when the crunch time with the big action. Yeah, still the semi-finals to come and also the final of both the, uh, the men's and the women's competitions. So still plenty of matches to bring you. Been uh, going on since about 10 o'clock or so this morning. So... It's been a long old day for everybody concerned. Just feel Miotto needs to just try and settle into this quarter-final match. He's been uh, completely outplayed in the opening stages. Good player himself, though, Alex Miotto. Yeah, ranking of the number four in the world in touch tennis would uh, suggest that, yes, he is a very good player. He's won some big tournaments this year. He won the, the Belgian Open in uh, April, which is one of the standout tournaments of the, the calendar. Runner-up in uh, Portsmouth. Dirty all. Well, there's a chance here for Marcus Willis again. Try and wrap up this first set. This is just the dream start. In these conditions, you just want to be on and off court as quickly as possible. And Marcus Willis eyeing up another Break point, which would uh, give him a set point. Yeah. Oh, that's a very wicked bounce. 40, 30. Can happen, of course, on these, these grass courts, which have looked in good condition. Of course, it's pretty tough to, to keep them in good condition with the, the sunshine we've had. Yeah, this competition was actually uh, had to be abandoned Solid last point. year because of the state of the court. So they've had to completely redo that's them fine. and make sure that they were playable this year, which they are, which is good news. Oh, great hands. Game and first set and that's All games vintage Marcus Willis. Job done so far, Marcus Willis. Great start. Well, that's 30. what Miotto's going to have to do now. Just try and, uh, try and start finding a few lines. And of course, with that brings uh, an element of risk to it. Struggling just to find a point at the moment is Alex Miotto. You can see him there with his hands on his hips, perhaps struggling for breath. Well, I don't think you can blame him struggling. It is very still out there. There's hardly any wind. That's another thing we've noticed today. It's so 15, humid. 13. You stand outside for two minutes. And you're sweating buckets. It's a lovely place here in uh, the heart of Weybridge. See that church spire? <laughs> That's you all. Yeah, that's nice hands from Alex Miotto. Both players pretty comfortable at the net. Here yeah, we had a nice look round earlier on oh. in Weybridge. It changed the volume. I don't know if that speaker was still on. Mark, is that ball okay? There's a hole in it that. The ball oh, is checking, yeah, if split. it's okay. Something you often see. They're only foam balls, so. If you apply a load of spin on it, quite often you, quite, you can see the ball almost split in half. I think that's what's just happened there. That's lovely. Really nice touch. Serve and volley 14, from Miotto. Needs to start imposing himself on this match a bit more. This quarterfinal will run away from him quickly. Yeah, there was a good opportunity to pass him there from Willis. I think he'd be disappointed that he didn't make it completely wide open. And he's missed another one. Game, Miotto. So Miotto is off and running. Well, that should just settle him down a little bit. 
after the bagel of the first set. set. It is Miyoto who takes the first game of the second. I don't think the speaker's working. Sorry? I don't think the speaker's working. I think the speaker might have um, turned itself off. Either that or there's no batteries in this. Oh. Of course, Marcus Willis. Well-known name. We've had uh, Fernando Gonzalez here today. Uh, a very well-known name in the, the world of tennis. Bear Grylls as well. Perhaps someone you wouldn't have expected to be here on the, the touch tennis court, but he is a Love big, 15. big fan of uh, of touch tennis. I was very impressed as well. He looked good. Very impressed. I mean, I'm surprised he hasn't made it through to the quarterfinals. It goes to show that the caliber of the players that are here. Fernando Gonzalez uh, knocked out in the previous round, but this is the Fernando Gonzalez who reached the final of the Australian Open in 2007, semi-finalist at the French. Quarter finalist, the two other Grand Slams. Yeah. Now he's getting it done on the touch tennis court. 15 all. Yeah, he flew in from South America last night as well, so he must be pretty jet lagged and fatigued, I'd imagine. May perhaps have uh, explained his early exit here. 15 30. Said it was freezing in South America yeah. as well, so. It's nice, just an injection of pace into that backhand from Willis. Miyoto certainly playing better though now. So winning the opening game of the second set. He's got it to 30 all here. Now he's got it to break point. 30, 40. I'll, I'll put it down. <laughs> Don't have juice either in uh, touch tennis. So if Willis does win this point, it goes to a deciding point. We also saw Bear Grylls' young boy, very good uh, on the touch tennis court. He could be a future a superstar. Yeah, a bit more, yeah. Just some maintenance. Is that Rash? I think it is. That is Rashid, the founder, the goat. Hashtag goat. goat. <laughs> <laughs> there he is. A man for all occasions. Credit, what he's done to this sport, almost single-handedly, really. As Willis nets and Miotto has the break. So after the bagel in the opening set, set, it's been a really good response by Miotto. Now leads two love in the second. And this is what can happen in, in five set tennis. A match just over the course of five sets will fluctuate from one player to the other. And we're seeing that right now. Miotto is going through a good patch and Marcus Willis is a little a bit bamboozled out here. He's just off the boil. Well, we've been so used over the last uh, 12, 18 months or so just to turning up to these events and seeing Simon Roberts really win almost every single one of them. But uh, Marcus Willis hasn't really been in the field too often. So 40, love. just wonder who comes into this one as favorite. Marcus Willis has won six Grand Slam titles in touch tennis. So clearly a force to be reckoned with. Nice. That's game, a quick Otto. fire service game. From Miotto. He's looking to, to try and uh, answer set. back with a bagel Willis. himself. He leads three love. Yeah, and it has been a busy few weeks for Marcus Willis. He was trying to make it through at Wimbledon pre qualies and also the qualifiers. Didn't quite manage to do that. He had some uh, some tough matches there, though. But uh, then I saw him at the Boodles at Tennis Challenge at the, uh, the Stoke, the beautiful Stoke Park. And uh, he looked good. He looked impressive. He was playing Malik Jaziri, Albert Ramos Vignolas, Liam Brody. Took them all to a match tie break. So yeah, he's, uh, he's come into this with a good amount of grass court tennis under his belt. So making that transition to the touch tennis arena today. Yeah, Liam Brody's played above. some um, doubles tennis with Simon Roberts, hasn't he, in, uh, in the past? A few years ago now. Oh, it's good hands, really good hands, but expect nothing less from Marcus Willis. Just whip that one away. Easy does it. <laughs> Rocking the bandana, Marcus Willis. That's lovely. 30 love. First the forehand, now the backhand. <laughs> Stand and deliver for Willis. Which is the way to be, really, on a day like this. 
It's a battle between two big lads, this. Marcus Willis, six foot three. And Miotto, six one. Two of the taller players we've got here today. Yeah, great hands. Seen that a couple of times already from Marcus Willis. So comfortable at the net. Game, Willis. So Willis off and running in this second set. It's been a slow start for him. Back to 3 1. He's only uh, one break away from getting back on on serve in set number two. Yeah, that's a decent serve, right on the money. 15 love. Such a good feel we have here today. Big names. Yeah, nice. Ah, it's nice. 15 all. Did really well to get up to that in time, and we've seen him miss uh, a couple of passes earlier on in this set, but he made absolutely sure of that one. Difficult really to do much with that 13, sort of 15. serve though. It's coming down at such a pace. Really does uh, ask the question of your serve though in touch tennis, how aggressive you get with it. Obviously not having the luxury of a second serve. You see some players just choosing to roll it in, but someone like Alex Miotto, it is certainly a weapon. So. He will try and uh, hit it with authority. And what a return that was from Willis again. I mean, that is the perfect return when you're up against a serve volley at right down at the feet. It's so awkward there for Miotto. And Marcus Willis, a serve volley himself, he's had that sort of return sent 13, back at him 14. time and time again. And he's got a chance here. Little mistake there from Miotto. Would have expected to make that. And Marcus Willis might just claw the gap back again. And that is Game picture Willis. perfect. Yeah, a couple of stunning returns from Marcus Willis, and Miotto just like that, we are back set, on serve set, in this second set. It's Miotto who leads 3 2. Love 15. <laughs> well, right onto the baseline. Great depth from Love 30. Miotto and Willis after getting back on serve. He's now in a spot of difficulty here. Love 30. A couple of points away from taking this second set is Miotto. Yeah. That's beautifully done. Really picks up that backhand well, Marcus Willis. Yeah, wonderful technique. It's very good balance there. Was not an easy put away there, but made it look pretty simple. Yeah, I'd be furious with that return. Didn't move his feet at all, Miotto. So love 30 becomes 30 all. This now becomes an imperative point. Of course, if Miotto wins this, he essentially, essentially has two set points with the uh, deciding point at Juice. Yeah, that's a massive point, and it's a real let off there. As 30 40. A little bit of a wayward backhand from Willis. Like you say, it's set points here now for Miotto to level things up here in this quarter final. Didn't quite get, get a hold of that one. Starting point, receiver's choice. Framed it away. Receiver's choice, side. which side he will uh, take on this serve. 
That's two in a row. Looked wide. Yeah. That's uh, a James good hold Willis. from Willis there. Was in uh, real difficulty, has Three to save all. a couple of set points. And from Love Three down, it is now three all. Yeah, breathing a sigh of relief, I think, there, Willis. <laughs> out. That's out. If it goes to four all, by Top the way, 15. you do have uh, a normal tie break. Willis will be looking to out. break here. That's a couple Love of 30. poor serves, though, from Miotto. Just gifting Marcus Willis points. Something you can't afford to do. Yeah, it's uh, Love a wayward 14. game, this one. And it looks a tied game, I've got to say. It, it's been a long day. And uh, Miotto needs to find something here. That was not given with uh, much gusto Jane at all, Willis. that serve. And a slump of the shoulders. Marcus Willis now flying. He's Willis leads four games to three. Four, seven, three seven, up. And by one and Miotto is in a spot of bother here. Yeah, he's done a Bernard Tomek almost. Yeah. Just basically just handed Marcus Willis that game. So Willis... It's been a really, really good turnaround in set two. And it's in a couple of moments' time, we'll be serving for it. It's demoralizing, though, because, I mean, he had such a good lead in this second set. And he's seen that absolutely scrubbed out. And Marcus Willis now has the opportunity to go two sets up. And in five-set tennis, with this sort of uh, heat bearing down on you, that's a long way to come back from. Two sets down. He knows he's got to go around the houses to win this uh, touch tennis encounter. So this is a big game. And Marcus Willis, can he find some serves? Oh. Love 15. It was just the start in uh, Miotto's previous service game that gifted Willis uh, a nice head start. A couple of missed serves. Got uh, Willis to love 30. Pretty shocking service game. <laughs> All in. Oh, oh it's wild. Very wild indeed. It's certainly Willis Love who looks 30. to be the one trying to make something happen. Love 30. Yeah. Oh, oh. too good. Stunning return. Love 40. And you heard Marcus Willis saying, yep, that's, uh, that's too good. It is a topsy-turvy encounter, this. Fifteen forty. Oh, how has he won that point, Marcus Willis? Miotto will be furious 30, that he hasn't 40. put that away. <laughs> so many chances. Easy, yeah, take a bow, Marcus Willis. Such quick hands. That, <laughs> that was a tough point. Super work around the net there. And these two, they, they are feeling it. I mean, it is still about 30 degrees centigrade out there, so... It's been a tough one today. That's long as well, and yeah, Deuce. thought we were going to get a racket smash there. Deciding point, receiver's choice. We had love 40, did Miotto. It's now Decide. a deciding point. He's getting himself into situations here. It's tough work now for Miotto. It's a break point and a set point here. Now look wide. It is wide, and Marcus Willis. Game. Incredible turnaround in this set second Willis. set. He was three love down. He comes back to win it by five, five games, games to three. three, and he is in control out here. He leads by two sets to love. Yeah. Yeah, I think both players just <laughs> just laughing about how, how warm it is. I think they are both really feeling it out here. But, uh, of course, Marcus yeah, Willis is just a, a set away from clinching victory here. 
And then he will have a little bit of time to recover just for all the quarterfinals to finish. And then he's got potentially a, a big semi-final to come. Marcus Willis, he's stepping up to the plate when it matters. Shock horror. He is a born winner. That's what they're playing for then. <laughs> Incredible trophy, isn't it, on the right-hand side? That's what Marcus Willis will be hoping to get his hands on in a couple of hours' time. He is one set away, as Mikey says. Four love, five three. And it's going to be Miotto to get this third set underway. <laughs> and the hits just keep coming. Love 15. Anything you do differently, Mikey, if well, you're in Miotto's shoes? I think he has to go for this serve and volley. That's his game style, but he's just being picked off with excellent returns. And I think he's got to stick with it. <laughs> and just hope that Marcus Willis can't find the returns. And he gets the reward there for sticking in the rally. But Marcus Willis has really all. dialed in on his returns. And I do think Miotto, just slumping the shoulders, yeah. needs to hold here. Such an important game. 15, 13. Have a look he to the heavens. tired, doesn't he? Yeah. Looks very fatigued. I mean, they've had to work hard to get to this stage. He's a super player, Miotto. We know that. World number four. <laughs> and Marcus Willis is just <laughs> enjoying this a little bit more at the moment. He's not making that either. 15, yeah, it's a pretty regulation volley as well from Miotto that he's yeah. missed there. Bread and butter. And more break points for Willis. <laughs> yeah, he's missed another one. Game and Willis, Willis breaks again. And surely it is a matter of when and not if Marcus Willis clinches a semi-final spot. And by who sets the love. Yeah, Marcus Willis in a hurry. You can see he's not even going to waste time sitting down. He's right at the back of the, uh, the court, ready to get underway again. <laughs> and he's enjoying it. He's waving to the crowd. He is a born showman. Saw that at the Boodles. They really love him there. He's becoming a firm favourite. I can still remember him walking onto centre court against Roger Federer. He had a massive smile on his face as he walked onto court. I don't think he could quite believe what was happening to him. Yeah, wonderful memories. And when he, uh, he won those six matches to qualify for the main draw of uh, Wimbledon, beat Ricardis Barankis in that first round match. Big, big upset against the Lithuanian. A player who was at the time ranked more than 700 places above him. And then, of course, uh, a certain Mr. Federer. Uh, came to play and uh, was too good for Willis on the day, but I mean, that's usually the case with Federer. Yeah, it's sort of a draw you want and don't want. Yeah. You kind of want it for the memories and to tell the grandkids, but I think you know your Wimbledon run is probably ending there. Yeah, he'd take that all the time though, wouldn't he? That story. I'm talking of Roger Federer. I think he was uh, just out in the wild with Bear Grylls. So you told me earlier, yeah. yeah. Saw a, a tweet or an Instagram, can't remember which one, of the two of them together. And uh, they seem to be enjoying each other's company, which is great to see. What were they doing? 40, 30. This show that the bear does, it's I think out in the wild, and they, he takes celebrities out and uh, out of their comfort zone and uh, causes all sorts of problems. <laughs> they get through it. Deuce, starting point receiver's choice, add side. Well, oh, what an incredible <laughs> point, Willis. and it goes the way of Marcus Willis. <laughs> Thought he'd thrown that game away. He was 40 love up. Two games to love. Miotto got back to 
juice, but that was the longest rally of the match by some distance. And it goes the way of Willis. That's the longest rally of the day. I Probably think. is. <laughs> that was incredible. And uh, Marcus Willis, well, it's just falling thing. his way, isn't it? Yeah, it's just one-way traffic now. Love 30. And you sense this one is probably not going to be out on court for too much longer. How many of those has he missed as well? Pretty routine volleys for Miotto, and you just get the impression that mentally he's perhaps switched off. Well, he's played brilliantly today, Miotto. We've seen a lot of him, Adam. We've been watching, and 15, 40. I think he's thinking about the ice cold beer now. <laughs> I, think I don't blame him. Perhaps fairness. checked out. And uh, yeah, Marcus Willis looks as if he's on the, the brink of the, the W. Yeah, another straightforward game, game for Willis, who is now just Willis one game away love. from booking his spot in this year's and Long Golf Slam semi final. So one game, we'll uh, seal it now for Willis. Blue skies above, look at that. It's, it is a picture perfect day, white fluffy clouds. Couldn't really have asked for much more as that steered away from Willis. 15, love. He's looked in good nick and I, I think any player that comes up against him in this sort of form will just be a little bit wary. Of course, there are some big names left in this tournament. <coughs> It's a great point again from Willis. The depth, a couple of times he just clipped the baseline. Miotto actually did well off the serve because the serve just clipped the top of the net on the way through. Have to try and adjust so quickly to get it back, which he did. But Willis again winning that extended rally. And Miotto looks gone. 40, love. And Marcus Willis with match points. Simple James. as you like Set for Marcus Willis. Willis. Well, is he the man to be afraid love. of in this draw? Four love. If five that three, performance is anything to go by, then you'd probably imagine so. Four love, five three, four love. Marcus Willis books his spot in the semi final. Yeah, easy work. Very, very impressive from Willis. And uh, well, Miotto, as we mentioned, he's played some really good stuff to get to this quarter final stage. He is one of the best in the world, the world number four. But. Uh, today, Marcus Willis was uh, a class apart. Really good showing from him. And I think he's got a bit left in the tank for the, the semi-final and the final, potentially. And it might just be a busy evening for Marcus Willis as uh, he waltzes his way into the semi-final. Some style. Yeah, so here are some of the highlights. And that is that for the quarter-final. But of course, we've still got plenty more to bring you. The semi-finals and the two finals as well from both the men's and the women's. So make sure you're back in time for the first semi-final. <laughs>